From the Levy Center, it's Broncos basketball here on the WCC Network. Tonight, Santa Clara takes on the Gonzaga Bulldogs in a West Coast Conference matchup. I'm Joe Rizzo. Great to be with you from the Mission Campus here tonight. Stand by. We'll have this evening's starting lineups and the opening tip next. Welcome back to the Levy Center on the campus of Santa Clara University, getting ready for tonight's WCC women's basketball matchup between the Broncos and the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Joe Rizzo back with you here courtside. Should be a good one tonight. First meeting of the season between Santa Clara and Gonzaga. The Broncos looking to bounce back from an 88-81 loss here at home to St. Mary's on Monday night. Gonzaga 9-1 in conference play, tied for first. They're off a win on Monday at home over USF. It's now time for tonight's starting lineups delivered by Scott Seafood and Chowder House, serving only the best, most sustainable seafood. And for the visiting Gonzaga Bulldogs with that 9-1 conference record, including an 18-5 mark uh, overall, uh, Ana Maria uh, Virgil Gay, a uh, redshirt senior, uh, two points per game. Abby O'Connor, a uh, fifth-year player, about seven points per contest. Another senior, Kaylee Trung. Uh, Kaylee's uh, sister, Kaylin, also plays a lot on this Gonzaga team. Kaylee is uh, the Zags' leading scorer at 11 points per contest. A junior, Sierra Walker, another senior, nine points per game, one of the top shooters in the WCC. And Melody Kempton, uh, yet another senior, 10.6 rebounds per contest. Four senior make up the starting five, a very experienced Gonzaga team. Meanwhile, for the Santa Clara Broncos, uh, looking to get back to 500 in conference play following the loss here on Monday to St. Mary's, now at five and six in WCC action, 11 and 10 overall, familiar starting five for Bill Carr, Mara Laville, Lana Hollingsworth, Danya Stafford, Ashley Haraki, and the Broncos leading scorer, Lindsey Van Allen, not only leading Santa Clara in scoring, but still tops in the entire conference in points per game Lindsay Van Allen at 19 points uh, per contest and there you see Lindsay Van Allen uh, at center court uh, with head coach uh, Bill Carr uh, Lindsay uh, a little over a week ago reached uh, 1,000 career points uh, quite an accomplishment 
uh, for Lindsey Van Allen, who has just had a, a phenomenal uh, four-year career here on the Mission campus. She became the 27th player in school history uh, to reach 1,000 career points, and she has just blown right on past it, that. Now over 1,100 points, in fact. She's had a couple of 30-point games uh, here in recent weeks. Currently sits 12th for all time uh, at Santa Clara in uh, career points and uh, only seven more points needed uh, to move into that 11th position. So you'd expect that uh, Lindsey Van Allen, the way she's been going, uh, will reach that mark at some point tonight. Last year it was Gonzaga that won all three meetings between these teams. The Zags beat the Broncos by 17 and 19 in the regular season. It was a much more competitive matchup when these teams met in Vegas. They played one another in the semifinals of the WCC tournament. That was a 10-point Gonzaga win. The Broncos have lost 11 in a row to Gonzaga, a streak they look to end here today. Last win against the Zags came back in March of 2016. That was the year before Bill Carr took over here on the Mission campus. We're underway here at the Levy Center and first of two regular season meetings this year between Santa Clara and uh, Gonzaga. Here's Abby O'Connor on the wing, shot clock winding down. Kempton's got it, swings it to Trong. Now it's Walker for three, off the rim no good. Rebound tapped and controlled by Gonzaga. So the Broncos defended well for the full 30 seconds but could not. Corral the offensive rebound, however, we'll get an offensive foul on an illegal screen here. Virgil Gay whistled for the illegal screen. Gonzaga turns it over, and now Santa Clara with their first possession of the night. Third of three straight home games for the Broncos. They beat San Diego here last Saturday for the aforementioned loss on Monday night. A, a close, high-scoring game to St. Mary's. Broncos were down 10 in the fourth quarter. Cut the deficit all the way down to one in the final minute, but were unable to come all the way back. St. Mary's didn't miss a free throw in the fourth quarter, ultimately won by seven. Here's Gonzaga in transition, but an Aaron pass. Merleville comes away with it. Now the Broncos in transition. However, we'll have to back it out. Here is Van Allen on the wing. Minute and a half gone by, still looking for our first points. And now we've got them as Van Allen scoops one in. Lindsey Van Allen, 19.3 points per game in conference play. She's up at about 23 points per contest. Playing very well for this Santa Clara team. And in a game like this, if the Broncos are going to get that elusive win over Gonzaga, they'd expect it would require a big night from Van Allen. 2 nothing. Broncos have the lead. Elbow jumper no good from O'Connor. And Lana Hollingsworth goes flying in for the rebound. The Broncos will often look to push off a missed shot. They'll set up the offense now. Here's Danya Stafford posting up. Stafford in the lane, scoops it with a left hand, and it's good. Terrific footwork there from Donya Stafford. Started the last six games now for the Broncos, averaging about eight points per game since moving into the starting lineup. First four points to Santa Clara here tonight. These are the top two shooting teams in the WCC as Kempton makes a move in the lane but misses badly. Here's Van Allen quickly ahead, tracks it down on the wing, finds Veal, now up top Stafford, wide open for three. It bounces off the back rim, out of bounds, and it'll go back to Gonzaga. Gonzaga number one in the WCC, shooting at 35% from three-point range, just ahead of the Broncos, who are number two at 34%. These are also the top two free throw shooting teams in the conference. Broncos number one in that category. Not only that, these are also the top two rebounding teams in the WCC. Gonzaga is one of the top rebounding teams in the entire country. They are top 10, in fact, in that regard. Here's a nifty move from Kaylee Trong. And she's got Gonzaga's first points tonight. Four to two Santa Clara. Stafford will hand it off to Veal. Veal step back three. 
No good off the rim and a rebound to the Bulldogs. Beal's been red hot shooting from distance here of late. 12 of 17 shooting the three over the last three games. This is on her first attempt tonight and now a foul the other way on Beal. And it'll be free throws for Gonzaga with 6.18 to go in the first quarter, a, a low scoring start. As we've got our first substitutions of the night. Yvonne Ejim, sophomore forward, checks in for Gonzaga and Shaley Harris off of one of her best games of the season. Harris, the junior center from Folsom, California. She enters for Santa Clara. Scored 10 points on five of five shooting off the bench in Monday's game against St. Mary's. First free throw no good from Kempton, 76% foul shooter this year. Second one rolls in. This is a very balanced Gonzaga team. They'll go about 10 deep, and they've got five players that average between 9 and 11 points. They don't have a player that averages more than 11. A lot of different players that can beat you. Nice pass there. Ashley Hiraki benefits. Wide open on the layup. 6-3 to three Santa Clara. Here's O'Connor driving off the window for two. Abby O'Connor, one of many very experienced players on this Gonzaga team. Three years at Loyola Chicago, now her second season with Gonzaga. Six to five, Santa Clara nearing the midpoint of the first quarter. Veal puts it on the deck and has her shot blocked out of bounds by Ejim. Now we'll have the other Trung sister, Kaylin Trung. Checks in for her sister, Kaylee. Both will play a lot. Kaylin essentially receives starters minutes, even though she does come off the bench. Averages 10 points per game. And now it's Shaley Harris posting up. Little hook shot left it well short. And a rebound to Ejim. Six to five, Santa Clara. First quarter action here at the Levy Center. These teams will meet in just a little over a week up in Spokane as we get another Santa Clara foul. February the 21st, so what, that's 11 days from now. The return visit for Santa Clara. Fouls on Veal, and that's a big call because that's her second with 5.16 to go in the first quarter, so Veal may have to sit on the bench for a while. Broncos second leading scorer. Laura Edmondson now into the game. First free throw no good from Kempton. Hits the second and that ties the game six to six. Broncos able to break the press. Here's Van Allen slashing through the lane and she's got two more. Four points on two of two shooting in the early going for Lindsey Van Allen. Broncos back ahead eight six. Inside of five minutes to go in the opening quarter. Ejim at the elbow, over to Walker, steps inside the arc, off the back rim, flying in for the offensive rebound, O'Connor, but the shot blocked. Santa Clara comes away with it. Here's Hollingsworth, quickly into the front court, looking to finish, leaves it short. Rebound to Ejim. Probably not gonna get a lot of second chance opportunities. Again, against a Gonzaga team, one of the top rebounding squads in the country. And there's the first three-point make of the night as Abby O'Connor hits one from the corner. And Gonzaga takes a 9-8 lead. Connor a 28% three-point shooter. Just her 16th made three of the year. Ashley Hiraki running the point for the Broncos with the dribble, seven to shoot. Looking for help now. Here's Hollingsworth, steps inside the arc and finishes. Nice little right-handed runner there from Lana Hollingsworth. Her first points tonight, Broncos back ahead, 10 to nine. First quarter played with a pretty good flow here, although we get a whistle now and a foul underneath on Santa Clara. And Gonzaga will go back to the line. And that'll bring us to our first media timeout of the night. 3.48 to go in the first quarter. It's 10 to nine Santa Clara. This is Broncos basketball on the WCC Network.
10 to 9 Broncos here at the Levy Center. 3.48 to go in the first quarter. As a reminder, all Broncos assists this season are brought to you by Mike Walsh State Farm. If you need auto, home, or life insurance, make sure to visit Mike Walsh State Farm, located just down the street from Santana Row. You can also check out the website at WalshHasYouCovered.com. Foul was on Santa Clara's Laura Edmondson prior to the break. And uh, more free throws here for Kempton, who is struggling a bit at the line. Now two out of five after that miss. And a, another misfire. So the Broncos still with the lead here. At uh, 10 to nine. Here's Shaley Harris over on the wing. That's Anna Johnson just in for the Broncos, and she turns it over. Bryce Nixon has also come in for the first time for Santa Clara. Eliza Hollingsworth, sophomore forward, now in for Gonzaga for the first time. Bulldogs, they really make their mark on the defensive end. Number one scoring defense in the WCC. They give up an average of just 55 points per game. So well, we saw an up and down affair here on Monday and last Saturday as well. Broncos have played a couple of real high scoring games as we get another Gonzaga turnover. This one uh, may be played at a, a slower pace and uh, baskets may be a little bit harder to come by. And this first quarter, it's been exactly that. 10 to 9. The Santa Clara advantage coming up on three minutes to go in the quarter as Van Allen got it across half court but had it knocked away. And that's back to back Broncos turnovers. There's a baseline runner that's no good from Trong. Now a fight for the rebound. And we've got a held ball. And we'll give it back to Santa Clara on the alternating possession. Broncos rebounding has been vastly improved this year. It'll be a good test tonight going up against this excellent Gonzaga front line. And, and the guards crash the boards as well for the Zags. Broncos holding their own here early with a one point lead at 10 to nine. Nixon driving all the way and uh, an errant pass, although it ended up back to Lindsey Van Allen outside the arc and then a foul is called on Gonzaga. Hollingsworth whistled for her first. Only the second team foul in the quarter for Gonzaga. It's Nixon, Johnson, Stafford, Edmondson, and Van Allen. The five on the floor for Santa Clara. And Nixon lost it. A steal from Michaela Williams just off the bench for Gonzaga. And then she's fouled. So the turnovers are piling up here for Santa Clara. Three of them, in fact, over the last minute and a half. Nixon will head to the bench, replaced by Ashley Haraki. Still 10 to nine, Santa Clara. The Trong sisters are now playing together for Gonzaga, and that's Kaylin. Kaylin, a 36% three-point shooter. 10 points per game off the bench. Gives the Bulldogs a 12 to 10 lead as Edmondson driving has it knocked away. Nothing coming easy right now offensively for Santa Clara. And they've been stuck on 10 points now for over two minutes. Start of a two game road trip for Gonzaga. They'll be up in San Francisco on Saturday. Broncos are headed out on the road this weekend as well. They'll be down in Southern California to play LMU on Saturday afternoon. Here's Hiraki, step back three, well short and offline as the clock was expiring. A rebound to Gonzaga. Bulldogs have it up two and a pass out of bounds off of E-Gym. Nice Santa Clara defense to force a turnover. On a Hollingsworth now back in for the Broncos. With 1.32 to go here in this first quarter. Been almost three minutes now without scoring for Santa Clara, yet only down by two. 
Edmondson trouble getting it across the line. It's knocked away. Gonzaga comes away with it. Hiraki, though, hits the deck. Ball's on the floor. And ultimately, the Bulldogs end up with it. Sloppy play here. Really good defense these last couple of minutes. And the Broncos have had problems with that Gonzaga full court pressure. Here at the elbow, it's Eliza Hollingsworth looking for a help and a whistle away from the ball. And a Santa Clara foul will be called on Edmondson. And that's Laura Edmondson's second foul. So the Broncos dealing with some foul trouble here in the first quarter. Edmondson and Veal with two fouls each. Zag is in the bonus. And Ejim will shoot two. First free throw is good. Ejim at 10 points per game off the bench. So speaks to the depth of this Gonzaga team that they've got a couple of players, Ejim and Kalen Trong, that come off the bench and average 10 points per game. Ejim's one of the top rebounders for the Bulldogs. Hits both free throws. It's 14 to 10 Gonzaga, their largest lead, and more difficulties for Santa Clara. Just trying to get it across the timeline, and they just do as Hollingsworth breaks that pressure. 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Broncos down four, and Lindsey Van Allen loses it out of bounds. He's unhappy with the call. And it's back to Gonzaga. 37.7 seconds to go. 14 to 10, the Gonzaga lead. Bulldogs shooting at 40% from the floor here in this opening quarter. There's Hollingsworth outside, goes around Stafford. Shots no good, rebound to Van Allen, although she has it taken away. Shot clock resets to 20, which is pretty much identical to the game clock, so Gonzaga can hold it for the final shot. Haley Trong's got it outside, guarded by Hiraki. Finds her sister, Kaylin. Kaylin drives, scoops it up, no good, but a foul. With 2.3 seconds to go, and more free throws coming for Gonzaga. Anna Clara has gone cold offensively, and it's not as if it's missed shots, really. They just aren't getting many shots up right now, having turned it over five times in the last four minutes. It'll have to be a point of emphasis here going forward for the Broncos, something they need to address before getting to the halftime locker room so as not to dig yourself into too big of a hole against this potent Gonzaga team. Halen's first free throw is good. Halen Trong, one of the top high school point guards in the nation a few years ago, growing up in Houston, Texas. Now a Santa Clara pass, and it's thrown away. Broncos are just all out of sorts right now. Is miscommunication there. Stafford inbounding it to Hiraki. Hiraki was getting ready to make her cut and didn't realize the ball had already been thrown in. Gonzaga has to hurry. A three off the inbounds is off the mark from Hollingsworth, so no damage done for the Broncos. But a rocky start in terms of taking care of the basketball in that first quarter for Santa Clara. After one, it's Gonzaga 16, the Broncos 10. This is Santa Clara basketball on the WCC Network.
Gonzaga versus Santa Clara is an exclusive presentation of the WCC Network on Stadium. For more live West Coast Conference broadcasts, features, and information, go to WatchStadium.com and WCCSports.com. Back here at the Levy Center, second quarter underway. It's a 16 to 10 Gonzaga lead. Broncos went the final four minutes of that first quarter without scoring. Turned it over seven times in the quarter. Broncos average right about 15 turnovers per game, which is third fewest in the WCC. And they're nearly halfway to that average after just one quarter. So something Santa Clara needs to improve upon. Marilla Veal's back on the floor. Playing with two fouls. Broncos clearly need a spark offensively here. This is Gonzaga's largest lead of the night. Here's an open three. Kaylee Trong, it's off the front rim. And Lana Hollingsworth pulls down the rebound. Ashley Hiraki quickly into the front court. Back to Hollingsworth. Trail three. Perfect. First three pointer of the night for the Broncos. Lana Hollingsworth with five points. And that cuts the deficit in half. Santa Clara now down three. This is Walker over to O'Connor. Virgil Gay now right at the foul line, knocks it in. Virgil Gay only averages two points per game. Known more for her defense and rebounding, but it's the open shot there. Gonzaga's up five. There's Hiraki on the wing for Santa Clara. Goes around the Harris screen. Now into the corner, Hollingsworth. Baseline jumper is good. Long two for Hollingsworth, heating up. He's got both of Santa Clara's buckets here early in the second quarter. 18 to 15, the Gonzaga lead. Broncos are up to 50% now from the floor, shooting the ball well, and they limit the turnovers, executing well offensively. Now the jumper that's good, right at the foul line. Virgil Gay, back-to-back -back buckets, establishing herself here offensively for the Bulldogs. Gonzaga back up by five. Hollingsworth gets the ball back. Now Hiraki still 16 to shoot. Two minutes in here to the second quarter. Aggressive defense from Gonzaga, and finally the foul is called. Hiraki got hammered there. Foul's going to be called on Sierra Walker of Gonzaga, which will be her first. Bryce Nixon back in for the Broncos. Emma Ellinghouse also in for the first time for Santa Clara. Rocky and Harris will sit. So Bill Carr going a little bit deeper into his bench here tonight. 20 to 15, the Gonzaga lead. Anna Hollingsworth. Anna Clara's leading score with seven points, drives with a left hand, it rolls out, and a rebound to Ejim. Pretty good look there for Hollingsworth. Couldn't get that one to go, however. Now a steal. Mary Laville steps into the passing lane. Quickly ahead, two on two to Nixon. Nixon trying to reverse it in. Well short. Ellinghouse, though, with the rebound, and she'll go to the line. Nice. Stead. Corrected, they'll just say knocked out of bounds. So no foul called. And the Santa Clara inbounds here is the Broncos with 15 to shoot. Down by five. Hollingsworth, nice bounce pass. Ellinghouse in the lane, and she traveled. Kind of stumbled as she was making her move towards the basket. And a tough possession there for Santa Clara. So still a five-point game, a low-scoring start to this one. 7-10 to go until halftime. Gonzaga at 9-1 in conference play. Their only loss came to BYU, the team they are tied for first with. That was a pretty convincing win for BYU last Saturday, beating the Zags by 12 in Spokane. Here's a bucket plus the foul and a three-point opportunity here for Gonzaga. It was Kaylee Trong that hit the basket. He's got four now and will go to the line for one more. Seven of the nine 
Gonzaga victories in conference have come by double digits. This was a team that a season ago went 16-1 and in conference play. Won the WCC tournament, beating BYU, and then the Zags were upset in the first round of the NCAA tournament. As a 5 seed, they were knocked off by 12-seeded Belmont. The Rockies 3 rattles out. Now Gonzaga up 7, rather up 8 with the basketball, and Ejim with a nice move in the lane. Gives the Bulldogs a double-digit lead, 25-15. Here's Nixon driving, couldn't finish. Ellinghouse gets the rebound, has the shot blocked. Gonzaga quickly into the front court in transition, and Kempton will go to the line. So Gonzaga on a 7-0 run, another scoring drought for the Broncos. They went over four minutes without scoring late in the first quarter. And now another two-plus minute drought. Bill Carr looking for the right combination is going to get Van Allen and Stafford back in the game. Anna Johnson also returns. A couple of free throws for Kempton, who's just two out of six at the line tonight, although does hit the first. Kempton, a bench player, her first three seasons with the Zags. In fact, was the WCC sixth woman of the year a season ago. Now finally getting a chance to start. After some graduation losses off of last year's Gonzaga club. And making the most of the opportunity. The senior from Post Falls, Idaho. Heading towards perhaps an all-conference year. It's a 9-0 run now for the Zags. Who have opened up a 27-15 lead. More pressure here in the backcourt. Anna Clara able to break it. Here's Veal up top. Six minutes to go in the second quarter. Erla Veal with a dribble. Out to Van Allen. Van Allen will drive. Little jumper in the lane is off the mark and a rebound to Ejim. Pretty good look there for Van Allen. Her first miss of the night. Only her third shot. Gonzaga's done pretty well to just limit the opportunities here for the conference's leading score as Kempton moving through the lane and she finishes. Six points for Kempton. And the Gonzaga lead is up to 14 now. They're on an 11-0 run and will now get a reach-in foul. And that's Bree Salenbein, freshman from Michigan, who just checked in for the first time tonight. Salenbein whistled for the foul, still Broncos possession. Down 29-15, Veal driving, has the shot blocked, and it was blocked off of Veal, out of bounds, and it'll go back to Gonzaga. So just nothing coming easy right now for Santa Clara. They've scored only five points in the last nine minutes. Here's Ejim, off the glass, no good. Fight for the rebound underneath. Tanya Stafford's got it. And trying to get it to Haraki. It's knocked out of bounds. Broncos will keep possession. And that will bring us to a mandatory timeout. 4.54 to go in the second quarter. It's Gonzaga 29, Santa Clara 15. This is Broncos basketball on the WCC Network.
Santa Clara fans, now is your chance to show your Broncos spirit. University Credit Union exclusively offers a Broncos rewards credit card with the ability to earn unlimited rewards points. In addition, become a University Credit Union member and get a Broncos debit card. Find out more at ucu.org. Broncos down 29 to 15 and a much needed bucket there. Lindsey Van Allen ends a streak of minutes without scoring for Santa Clara. Van Allen's got six. Broncos within 12. We'll see if Santa Clara can string together some defensive stops and uh, narrow the margin here going into the halftime locker room. They do get a steal. Van Allen transition three and it rolls out. Good look there for Van Allen. That would have been a big lift, but in and out. Allen Breeze got it now for Gonzaga up top to Kalen Trong. Coming up on four minutes to go here in the second quarter. 29 to 17, the Gonzaga lead. Here's Salenbein, wing three off the front rim. Offensive rebound, though, for Gonzaga. Unable to finish, though. Now the Broncos get it, and we get a whistle and a foul. And that's Salenbein, who had the initial miss, reaching in after the Santa Clara rebound. That'll be her second foul. And she'll go to the bench in place of O'Connor. Hollingsworth back in now for Santa Clara as well. Broncos have hit just one out of their last nine shots. They've seen their percentage for the game dip down to 35%. Down 12 here in the second quarter. Now Reveal picks up her dribble. Now back to Van Allen near half court. 13 on the shot clock. Goes around the screen, Van Allen drives, difficult shots, no good. Good offensive rebound though, Stafford's got it. Tried to get it back to Hollingsworth at half court. Ultimately, Santa Clara gets it, shot clock winding down. Stafford, 4-3, with the shot clock expiring. A hectic possession there for Santa Clara, but it ends with a Danya Stafford triple. Broncos within nine, Santa Clara's second three-pointer of the night. Maybe a spark much needed for Santa Clara here offensively. And now we get a whistle and a foul away from the ball is going to be on Gonzaga. Stafford doing it on both ends, draws the contact there. And Yvonne Ejim whistled for her first. So five straight points here for Santa Clara. They we're down 14, now trail by only nine. Gonzaga sets up the half-court trap. Beal's got it, she's in trouble. Steps through it, gets it over to Van Allen. Still 18 to shoot. Van Allen with the dribble, now on the wing over to Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth will drive. Here's Van Allen up top, seven on the shot clock. Van Allen probing back to Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth drives, contact, no foul. And a rebound to Gonzaga. Physical game here tonight. Here's an open three, O'Connor off the mark, but another offensive rebound. Williams gets it up top to Kaylee Trong. It's no good. Another offensive rebound. Kaylee will try again, misses again, and Santa Clara comes away with it. Three looks at it on that possession for Gonzaga. Bulldogs have now gone three minutes without scoring. Here's Hollingsworth, baseline jumper is good. So a little spurt here for Santa Clara. Seven straight points for the Broncos. And with 1.58 to go in the first half, it's now a 29-22 Gonzaga lead. And the Bulldogs will call a short time out here trying to regroup. Well, mentioned Santa Clara. They Needed to get on a little bit of a run here before the break after seeing Gonzaga jump out to a 14-point lead, and the Broncos have done exactly that. If you see an outstanding play from the Broncos or Bulldogs today, you can nominate it for the West Coast Conference's Top Plays of the Week. Tweet a description of the play and use the hashtag TopPlayTuesday.
today and all season long. Hashtag Top Play Tuesday. We've seen some fine plays here tonight. First meeting of the year between the Broncos and the Zags. It's been a long time since Santa Clara has beaten this Gonzaga team. Six seasons ago, Gonzaga has won the last 11 head-to-head -head meetings, including all three a year ago. See what the Bulldogs do here out of the timeout, setting up their offense. Broncos with a double team down low. Virgil Gay's got it, and she stepped on the baseline. So the double team worked, doubling up Kempton. Forced the pass, and there was nowhere for Gonzaga to go there. So a turnover. Broncos can cut into the deficit further. Beal breaks the pressure through the lane, steps through, and she traveled. Hit the basket, but called for the travel. Crowd groans here at the Levy Center. Real nice crowd. Best of the season, it would appear. And they're looking for more to cheer about as Santa Clara tries to pull off the upset. 1.10 to go here in the second quarter. Driving baseline, it's Abby O'Connor, and that ends the scoreless drought for Gonzaga. It had been over four minutes without scoring for the Zags, who are back up by nine. Inside of a minute to go, Hollingsworth finds herself open, but misses the shot off the back rim, and a rebound to the Bulldogs. Neely Trong with the dribble. Now O'Connor swings it over to Sierra Walker, who's been quiet here in the first half. 14 to shoot, 37 seconds to go in the half. Driving in, it's Kaylee Trong, and she gets it to go. Loop right by the defender there, and it's back to a double-digit lead now. Gonzaga ahead by 11. And with only a one-second differential, game clock to shot clock. Broncos can hold it here, essentially, for that final shot. The Rockies got it, 10 to shoot. Will now initiate the offense. Seven on the shot clock. The Rocky over on the wing, Hollingsworth, trying to find Stafford, throws it away. Two seconds. And a, a two-thirds court shot is well short, and it goes out of bounds even before the clock had expired. Point one is on the clock. And I think the officials are just going to call it off right here, perhaps. And they're going to do just that, sending the players and coaches into the locker room. So that will do it for our first half here at the Levy Center. Gonzaga was up six after one quarter. Stretched the lead up to 14. About halfway through that second quarter, Broncos went on a little run, got to within seven. But then a, a mini spurt there to end the half for the Bulldogs, who are back up by 11, 33 to 22. We'll have more at the half here at the Levy Center in a moment. You're watching Santa Clara women's basketball on the WCC Network.
Halftime here at the Levy Center and an 11 point lead for the Gonzaga Bulldogs, 33 to 22 over the Santa Clara Broncos. As longtime supporters of the Broncos and the community, JJ Albanese has been a leader in the Northern California construction community since its beginning in 1955. JJ Albanese, proud partners of Santa Clara University. Santa Clara Athletics is also committed to providing crucial support and resources to our programs and student athletes. During these challenging times, you can help by making a gift to the Stampede Together Continue the Momentum campaign. Visit SantaClaraBroncos.com and click on Donate to learn more and help continue the momentum. Time now for our halftime stats which are brought to you by University Credit Union. Broncos bank with their brain with University Credit Union. As we take a look at the uh, first half stats, Gonzaga shot 42% from the floor to uh, 36% for Santa Clara. Of note, mentioned how these are the top two free throw shooting teams in the conference. Santa Clara number one, Gonzaga number two. Look at the difference there. The Bulldogs, 13 free throw attempts. They were nine out of 13. The Broncos did not get to the foul line once. So what's normally a big advantage for Santa Clara, getting to the line, uh, not at all a factor for them in that first half. Neither team did a whole lot from distance. Santa Clara was two out of seven from three point range, two out of nine for Gonzaga. The Bulldogs plus four in the rebounding margin. Both teams had some problems with turnovers. 10 turnovers in that first half for Santa Clara. Although up note, seven of those came in the first quarter. So they did improve on that a bit uh, throughout that uh, second quarter. Individually, Lana Hollingsworth of the Broncos leading all scores with nine points on four of nine shooting. Lindsey Van Allen's got six, Donya Stafford five. All the scoring for Santa Clara from their starters. They do not have any bench points tonight. Broncos also don't have any fast break points yet in this game. Individually for Gonzaga, Kaylee Trong and Abby O'Connor with seven points each to lead the way. Melody Kempton also with six. No surprise. Very balanced scoring for Gonzaga. That certainly has been their M.O. all year. At the half, it's the Zags 33, the Broncos 22. We'll have more here at the Levy Center in a moment. You're watching Santa Clara basketball on the WCC Network.
Back here at the Levy Center, great atmosphere uh, tonight. Uh, a terrific crowd on hand to watch the Broncos and the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Joe Rizzo back with you courtside. It's a 33 to 22 Gonzaga halftime lead. Fans looking to get a quote on a new auto home or life policy. Mike Walsh State Farm is your go-to local insurance agency. Visit their website at walshhasyoucovered.com. Mike Walsh State Farm proudly supporting Santa Clara Athletics. As we take a look at some of the first half highlights here at the Levy Center, Broncos got off to a nice start very early in that first quarter. Lindsey Van Allen finishing there. She's got six uh, points uh, tonight. Gonzaga, though, able to get the offense going a bit uh, late in that first quarter. Kaylin Trong hitting a three. Uh, the Broncos went the final four minutes of that first quarter without scoring. We're down six after one. Anna Hollingsworth did jumpstart the offense a bit early in the second quarter with those back-to-back -back buckets. Hollingsworth with nine first-half points to lead all scores. Santa Clara cut a 14-point deficit down to seven uh, late in that first half, and it was Danya Stafford with that three as the shot clock was expiring that uh, really seemed to energize Santa Clara a bit, but the Broncos weren't able to get any closer at the end of that second quarter. A couple of late buckets that final minute plus for Gonzaga. Trong the finish there, and it gets us to this halftime score of Gonzaga 33, Santa Clara 22. The Broncos have beaten the Zags only twice since 2007, a 2 and 31 record against the Zags over the last 15 years. Wins have been awfully hard to come by for Santa Clara against this Gonzaga program. They're hardly alone in this conference with the great run that the Bulldogs have gone on, but uh, Santa Clara would love to uh, to get a, 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 a win that would uh, really set the tone here for this final stretch of the regular season. So a big second half ahead. As Santa Clara looks to come back. They trail by 11 here at the Levy Center. We'll have more in a moment. You're watching Santa Clara basketball on the WCC Network.
Well, just a couple of minutes away from the start of the second half here at the Levy Center, a 33 to 22 Gonzaga lead right now over the host Santa Clara Broncos. Nothing beats the power and excitement of live events like Ticket Smarter. For all the best sports, concerts, and theater events, visit TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticket resale partner of Santa Clara Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Also the exclusive transportation provider of Santa Clara Athletics, it's Lux Bus America, covering more ground in more places. Santa Clara wrapping up a three-game homestand here tonight. Beat San Diego last Saturday. Lost the, uh, the makeup game, the rescheduled game with St. Mary's here on Monday night. A couple of high-scoring back-and-forth affairs to open up this uh, stretch of home games. Very different kind of game here tonight. Grind it out defensive battle and Santa Clara their work cut out for them if they are to come back and knock off this excellent Gonzaga team. Broncos next two games will both be on the road both down in Southern California. They'll be at LMU this Saturday at two o'clock tip time. Broncos will try and sweep the season series from the Lions. They beat LMU here at home a few weeks ago. And then next week, they'll be down in Pepperdine. Take on the Waves on uh, Thursday. Broncos will also be looking to sweep that series, having already scored a home win over that Pepperdine squad. Next home game for Santa Clara after tonight will be a week from Saturday, February the 19th. Broncos will be hosting Portland at 2 o'clock. We'll have that for you here on the WCC Network. Revenge will be on the mind for Santa Clara there. They lost a tough overtime game to Portland back in January. Starting uh, five back on the floor here for Santa Clara. Rocky, Veal, Hollingsworth, Van Allen, and Stafford. Starting five also out there for Gonzaga. Jogay, O'Connor, Kaylee Trong, Walker, and Kempton. Third quarter underway here on the Mission campus. An 11 point lead for the Gonzaga Bulldogs. We'll see if Santa Clara can get the offense going a little bit. And there's a good start. And that they force a turnover. The legal screen was set there. Jogay whistled for her second. And Santa Clara with their first possession here of quarter number three. Broncos shot it at 36% in that first half. Turned it over 10 times. So you know they've got to clean that up as Stafford sets up for three and misses. And a rebound to Gonzaga. Broncos now two of eight shooting the three. And mentioned this at the half, Santa Clara has not yet attempted a free throw here tonight. As that three-point try from Kaylee Trong off the mark. Still looking for our first points here of this third quarter. Lindsey Van Allen's got it now. We'll put it on the deck. Van Allen through the lane and uh, loses it out of bounds. A lot of contact, no foul. Broncos still haven't attempted a free throw tonight. Still 33 to 22, Gonzaga. Bulldogs at nine and one in conference play. They turn it over. Here's Ashley Hiraki, quickly into the front court, and she'll get to the line. So now we'll finally have some Santa Clara free throws. Broncos also didn't have any fast, fast break points in that first half. Just an offense getting really bogged down against this terrific Gonzaga defense. We'll see if Santa Clara can get out in transition a little bit more as Hiraki's first free throw, no good. Normally a very reliable foul shooter at 79%. Does hit the second. First point of the quarter. Santa Clara's down 10. Their largest deficit was 14.
Here's Gonzaga with the basketball. Minute and a half gone by here in quarter number three. This is Walker, gets cut off baseline into the corner. Now up top, it's O'Connor around the screen. Six to shoot. O'Connor off the window, no good. An offensive rebound. Virgil Gay, she misses though. And Santa Clara's got it. A couple of pretty good looks there for the Zags, but could not convert. Here's Veal up top, put it on the floor. Now hoist from three, but misses. Carla Veal, who was saddled with two early fouls, did not score in that first half. Averages 13 points per game. Broncos need to get her going. Shot in the lane, no good, but another offensive rebound for Gonzaga. They're seeing how the Zags are the top rebounding team in the conference. A lot of second and third chance opportunities, but we're gonna get another illegal pick. Virgil Gay whistled for her third, and I think all three of her fouls have been of the illegal screen variety. Including two here early in this third quarter. Well, opportunity here for Santa Clara. Gonzaga hasn't scored yet in the quarter. Missed shots and turnovers for the Bulldogs. But Santa Clara has managed only the one free throw and still down by 10. Trying to take advantage of this Gonzaga cold spell. As Bryce Nixon is back in for Santa Clara, so is Laura Edmondson. This is Van Allen with the basketball. Being guarded closely now by Kempton. Bit of a mismatch. We'll see if Van Allen tries to take her off the dribble. Here she goes. Tough shot, and it's good. Lindsey Van Allen going baseline, falling away. She's got eight, and that bucket moves Van Allen up to number 11 on the school's all-time scoring list. And what a difficult shot it was. Lindsey Van Allen nearing that top 10. She probably won't get there tonight, but will eventually. As Gonzaga answers, that's Kaylin Trong in the first points of the half for the Bulldogs, who are back up by 10. 35-25 the score, 6.40 to go in the quarter. Here's Hollingsworth, and she draws the foul. Well, you have to expect contact driving in against this Gonzaga defense, this physical bunch. Hollingsworth will get to the line with 6.40 remaining. Some confusion right now over at the scorer's table, I think, on who that last foul was called against. And they will call it on Kalen Trong. And they're just going to go to an immediate timeout as they make sure here on who the foul is on. So some confusion on both sides, but we are, I believe, going to go to a break. And yes, they do confirm the foul. We are gonna go to a break, so with that, we'll step aside. 6.40 to go in the quarter. Broncos down 10. This is Broncos basketball on the WCC Network.
Well, after all kinds of confusion as to who that foul was on and whether or not we'd go to a timeout or not. Back to action, Lana Hollingsworth, the free throw shooter, and uh, she hits both two out of two. And it's down to an eight point difference now. Broncos trailing 35-27 here to the Gonzaga Bulldogs. A defense from Bryce Nixon forces the miss, but it's Kaylin Trong who gets it right back and the easy two. So initially good defense, but again, the Broncos unable to close out, give up another offensive rebound. Here's Hollingsworth, corner three is good. Lana Hollingsworth having one of her best offensive displays of the season. Up to 14 points now, two of two from deep. Broncos down seven, they trailed by 11 at the half. Into the lane and Sierra Walker with the left hand. First bucket for Walker who averages nine points per game. Nine point Gonzaga lead, Hollingsworth spinning in the lane, gets it to go. Lana Hollingsworth is feeling it right now for Santa Clara. Game high, 16 points. And seven in a row very quickly for Hollingsworth on these last three possessions. 39-32, the Gonzaga lead scoring picking up a bit now. Here's a nice pass, strong to Ejim, but she misses. And a foul on the rebound is gonna be called on Gonzaga. And that's already the fifth team foul on the Zags here in this quarter with 5.14 to go in the Broncos who didn't attempt a free throw the entire first half have a chance to shoot a bunch of them here in the second half of this third quarter and it'll be Mary Laville at the line Veal who has still not scored in this game 0 of 4 from the field. And she's been hot of late. Broncos need to get her going here in this second half if they're gonna pull this one out. Beal scored a career high 29 points two games ago in the win over San Diego. Ninth in the conference in scoring, at 13 per game. Hits both free throws and here it is now just a five point game. 39-34, as we're at the midpoint of quarter number three. Kaylin Trong's got it, trying to go around the screen. Good defense here from Santa Clara. Hollingsworth staying with her. Now Trong stepped back three, front rim no good. Rebound to Van Allen. Strong defensive possession there for Santa Clara. The Rocky swings it to Edmondson. She'll shoot for three. Lara Edmondson, her first points tonight, only her fourth three-point make of the season, and it's a two-point game, 39-37, as we get a reach-in foul called here on Santa Clara. Broncos are on a 7-0 run now over the last minute plus. And it'll be Gonzaga basketball after the media timeout we're going to take a break here with 429 to go in the third 39 37 Gonzaga this is Broncos basketball on the WCC network
Back to action here at the Levy Center. Broncos, who were down 11 at the half, have closed the gap. Now trail by only two as Kempton in the lane. Good look, but she misses. And a rebound to Edmondson. Broncos can tie or take the lead with a three. Van Allen goes all the way and finishes. And we're all even at 39. Lindsey Van Allen. Here's Gonzaga quickly back the other way. Three-point attempt from Kaylee Trong. No good. Offensive rebound, though. Stepping out. It's Williams for three. It rattles out. And a Santa Clara rebound. Broncos will look to push. Here's Edmondson. Doesn't have numbers. So we'll back it out. Tied at 39. Broncos on a 9-0 run. Here's Hollingsworth, who really has spearheaded the offense in this quarter to Edmondson. Her shot blocked by Ejim, and then a foul called on Laura Edmondson. So good defense there. Ejim the block without fouling, and then she was fouled herself. As Danya Stafford back in now for Laura Edmondson. Broncos have outscored the Zags 17 to six here in this third quarter after managing only 22 points in the first two quarters combined. The offense has certainly come to life for Santa Clara. Oh, a pass that's knocked out of bounds. Zag still a habit with 19 to shoot, 325 remaining here in the third quarter. Haley Trong will inbound it up top to Williams. Williams still with a dribble. Back to Kaylee. Steps inside the line and drains it. Haley Trong, who leads Gonzaga at 11 points per game. He's got nine tonight. Here's a bucket. That is no good. They'll say an offensive foul. Van Allen did a hit, but called an offensive foul. Oh, borderline call there, does not go Santa Clara's way. And it's back to Gonzaga, up by two. Allen Van Allen, only her first. There's O'Connor, Ejim posting up Veal, spinning in the lane over Veal, and uh, she's got two. Yvonne Ejim with a nice move there. Six points, six rebounds off the bench for Gonzaga, who have scored four straight, back up by four. Van Allen driving all the way, left it short. Stafford, though, offensive rebound, and she'll go to the line. Second chance points really haven't been there tonight for Santa Clara. But a nice offensive rebound there for Stafford. She'll try and convert at the line as Anna Johnson back in, replacing Lana Hollingsworth. Well-deserved break for Hollingsworth, who leads all scores with 16 points tonight. Stafford, five points, five boards. That's her first trip to the foul line this evening. And she hits. Junior forward from Orem, Utah. Seven points per game. Recently moved into the Santa Clara starting lineup. Second free throw is perfect. 43-41, the Gonzaga lead. Late stages here in the third quarter, and Merleville with a steal. Steps right into that passing lane, comes away with it. Gives it to Hiraki. Ashley Hiraki driving, and it's knocked out of bounds. Broncos will keep possession. Broncos have cut down on the turnovers. Only one so far here in the third quarter. Not coincidentally, they've gotten the offense going. Stafford now off the inbound. Still 19 on the shot clock. Broncos can set something up. Anna Johnson picks up the dribble. Back to Stafford. Long two is off the back rim. And a rebound to the Bulldogs. Gonzaga up two with the ball. Haley Trong now. Here's Kempton wide open. And she knocks it in. Melody Kempton, a little bit of a, a breakdown there defensively for Santa Clara. Kempton's got eight. Gonzaga back up by four. Here's Van Allen with the dribble. 
She'll stop, pop for three off the front rim. Rebound tapped out of bounds. And it'll go back to Gonzaga. Deep three attempt there from Lindsey Van Allen off the mark. She's yet to hit from distance tonight. Haley Harris now back in for Santa Clara. Bryce Nixon also returns with 1.38 to go in the quarter. Broncos momentarily tied it. Gonzaga now has made their last three shots. Back up by four. Haley Trong, a little bit too much dribbling and a steal. Veal quickly ahead to Van Allen. Van Allen all the way and finishes. Defense leading to transition offense. And Allen's got 12. Broncos now down only two. See if they can finish strong here in this third quarter. Allen Bind back in for Gonzaga. Gets it down low to Ejim and Harris with the block, but whistled for the foul. And Yvonne Ejim's going to go to the line. A lot of ball there for Shaley Harris, but whistled for the foul. Ejim a 67% foul shooter, two of two at the line tonight. Sophomore from Calgary. And she hits the first. Ejim was on the all freshman team in the conference last season. Average four points per game. She's improved in that regard up to 10 points per contest this year. She is a significant contributor for this Gonzaga team. And with the two free throws there, Gives the Zags back a four-point lead inside of a minute to go in the quarter. Here's Harris at the high post. Back to Nixon, 13 on the shot clock. Harris swings it to Veal, now Van Allen. Van Allen will have to go, seven to shoot. Van Allen steps through the lane, shoots no good, but a foul. So Lindsey Van Allen doing what she does so well. That's creating late in the shot clock. So often, either she hits the shot or gets herself to the line. This is her first visit to the free throw line tonight. Foul was on Salenbein, which is her third. 13 points for Van Allen, who moved up to 11th on the school's all-time scoring list earlier tonight. It's both free throws, and now she'll get a break. Hollingsworth's back in. 40.7 seconds to go here in the third. Can't imagine Van Allen will be sitting for long. As the deficit at two right now. There's Salenbein into the front court. Gets it across. Now Kaylee Trong, and she'll set up the offense. About a 10-second differential here. Shot clock to game clock. Here's Joe Gay back in. Bounce pass to E. Jim, posting up on Veal. Shoots it over Veal and hits. Gave her a lot of space there, and Ejim took advantage. So she's into double figures with 10. First Gonzaga player to do that tonight. Here's Nixon, bounce pass. Anna Johnson kicks it back out. Hollingsworth, three seconds, two seconds. Now Veal, a three at the buzzer, no good. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. A tight one here at the Levy Center. Gonzaga 49, Santa Clara 45. This is Broncos basketball on the WCC Network.
Fourth quarter about to get started here at the Levy Center. Broncos who were down 11 at the half now find themselves down by just four. It'll be Nixon, Hollingsworth, Veal, Harris, and Johnson. The five on the floor for Santa Clara here to start this fourth quarter. Broncos who managed only 22 first half points poured in 23 points in that third quarter. Aaron pass here, however, from Hollingsworth trying to hit Harris and a turnover. Broncos only turned it over one time in that third quarter. And again, no coincidence that they got the offense going. Now Gonzaga's first possession here of this final stanza. It's Eliza Hollingsworth. Swings it over on the wing to Walker. Virgil Gay's got it now, four to shoot. Looking for Hollingsworth down low and really with her back to the basket, flips it up over her shoulder, off the window, and knocks it in. Gonzaga's up six. Nixon with the dribble, steps back, finds herself open, but misses the three badly. And a rebound to the Zags. Really strong now. Gets it back with 20 to shoot. 51 to 45 is the Bulldogs' lead. Neely Trong back to Hollingsworth, open for three. Eliza Hollingsworth off the bench. Five quick points to start the quarter here for Gonzaga. And the Bulldogs, a little spurt to start the quarter. Now lead by nine. It is 54 to 45 with 8.32 to go in regulation, and that's gonna force Santa Clara to call a timeout, and it'll turn into a full timeout here with 8.32 to go. Broncos basketball on the WCC Network. Reminder that the WCC Network is the West Coast Conference's home for exclusive live broadcasts, on-demand content, and championship coverage. You can catch all the action on your smartphone, tablet, computer, or connected TV. The WCC Network, all the action, anytime, anywhere. Broncos fan Santa Clara Athletics wants to connect with you on social media. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Snapchat for exclusive content of your favorite teams that call the Mission Campus home. Use the hashtag Stampede Together when you post about the Broncos this season and join the conversation today. In a sense there, Bill Carr calling the timeout. Not happy with the way that this fourth quarter has started. Broncos with a quick turnover and then giving up the five straight points to Eliza Hollingsworth and Santa Clara, which did all that work to briefly tie the game, now find themselves down by nine again. And we'll see if they've got another run in them with eight and a half to go here in regulation. Lindsey Van Allen is back on the floor for Santa Clara. She gives it up here to Marilla Veal. Veal puts it on the deck, and Veal finishes through the lane, cutting through traffic. Nicely done there for Veal, her first field goal tonight. And a much needed bucket for Santa Clara, who's back within seven. Here's Kaylin Trong, who's back in for Gonzaga. Hollingsworth back to Kaylin. The Trong sisters on the floor together right now for the Zags. Here's Hollingsworth, another three point attempt, no good. And that ball will carry him out of bounds. And he'll go back to Santa Clara. Bronco shooting at 39% from the floor. They've hit just four threes tonight. Four out of 13 from three-point range. Normally a much bigger part of their offense. Has been largely shut down by this excellent Gonzaga defense. One of the best defensive teams based on the metrics in the entire country. Here's Hiraki around the screen. Finds Harris underneath and Shaley Harris converts. Nice pass, nice finish. And uh, Harris with her first points. 
four in a row for Santa Clara. It's 54 to 49, 7.15 to go. Here's Walker around the screen looking for a Hollingsworth. Aaron pass, gets it back though. Still 11 to shoot here for the Zags. Kalen Trong going around Hiraki in the lane, dishes it off, Virgil Gay shot blocked by Harris. Excellent defense and Santa Clara comes away with it. Van Allen kind of two on three here, will back it out. And the Broncos will set something up. Here's Hollingsworth, wing three off the front rim. She had hit her first two three-point shots tonight. Maybe a little rushed there. And it's back to Gonzaga with the Bulldogs up by five. Six and a half to go. There's Kalen Trong on the wing. She'll go away from the screen. Virgil Gay's got it. Over to Kaylee Trong now. Steps inside the arc. Shot off the back rim. And the rebound controlled by Veal. Broncos stringing together some stops here. Here's Hiraki nearly had it stolen. And then a foul. A knock to the floor there by Kaylee Trong. And that'll be the first foul called in this fourth quarter on either side. Some substitutions here as Laura Edmondson is back in for Santa Clara. Abby O'Connor returns for Gonzaga. So does Melody Kempton. So the Zags getting some of their front court starters back in. Here's Van Allen slashing through the lane over to Veal. Wing three no good and an offensive rebound. Laura Edmondson. Shot clock resets to 20. Broncos down five inside of six minutes to go. Van Allen finds herself open and she hits. Can't leave Lindsey Van Allen open. Her first three of the night. She's up to 17 points now leading all scores. And it's back to a one possession game. Broncos down two. Santa Clara's on a 7-0 run. Here's a three point shot, deep shot. No good from Walker. Gonzaga gets another opportunity though. And another three, this one is good. Kalen Trong hits. So the Broncos unable to get that long rebound and it costs them. Here's Veal. Now Veal with the dribble, Edmondson. Elbow three is well off the mark. And a rebound to Gonzaga. Bulldogs with the basketball, up five. Five minutes to go. Broncos haven't been able to get over the hump. They've made a couple of runs but have trailed this entire second half. Down low now, it's O'Connor can't get it, but another offensive rebound, another open three, and Kalen Trong hits another one. Back-to-back -back threes for Kalen Trong. The Broncos are getting beat badly on the boards right now. And it's hurting them in a big way. They're down by eight again. Here's Van Allen. Around the screen, still with it. Now Veal looking for a help down low and an Aaron pass stolen. Gonzaga in transition. O'Connor tracks it down. Defender goes flying by and O'Connor with a layup. And uh, after the Van Allen three had cut it down to a two point deficit, a quick 8-0 run for Gonzaga over the last 70 seconds. They're up by 10. And with 4.06 to go, Bill Carr is going to use another timeout. So, Gonzaga, one of the best teams on the West Coast, certainly getting pushed tonight. But every time the Broncos have made a run in this second half, Gonzaga has found a way to stabilize things and have been able to reclaim control of the game. And we'll see if those back-to-back -back threes turn out to be the knockout punch or if Santa Clara can rally yet again. Clock now working against the Broncos with only 4.06 to go. Santa Clara will inbounds. Lana Hollingsworth with it over to Lindsey Van Allen. Van Allen, game high 17 points tonight. Stafford at the elbow. Now Hiraki open in the corner. 4 3. Ashley Hiraki's first three pointer of the night. 
And it's a seven point margin now, 62 to 55. Now can the Broncos get a stop? Kaylee Trong through the lane. No good, but she's fouled and will go to the line. Foul will be on Edmondson. And uh, she's gone, that's her fifth. Edmondson, three points, three rebounds off the bench. The only Santa Clara player with more than two fouls right now. But she has been disqualified and Shaley Harris will replace her. Foul trouble, not a major issue for Gonzaga. Virgil Gay and Salenbein, the only two players with three. A couple of free throws here for Kaylee Trong, an 83% foul shooter. It's the first, she's got 10, her sister's got 15 to lead the way for the Zags. Getting those two threes back to back. A couple of free throws makes it a nine point game, 64 to 55 with three and a half to go. Here's Lindsey Van Allen. Bounce pass to Shaley Harris. Harris looking for help. Now Van Allen in front of the Broncos bench. Back to Harris, swings it to Hiraki. Hiraki has it knocked away from behind and a Gonzaga steal. Costly turnover there for Santa Clara. It's their 14th turnover tonight. Now the Zags content to use a little clock here. Up nine with the basketball. Really Trong over to Ejim, elbow jumper, a little long. And a rebound to Stafford. Broncos could use some quick offense here. Van Allen, skip pass to Hollingsworth. Open for three, off the rim, no good. And a foul is gonna be called on Gonzaga on the rebound attempt. Whistles has been kept in the pockets here, these officials in this fourth quarter. Broncos have only one team foul, and that's only the second team foul on Gonzaga after a foul heavy third quarter. So it'll be an inbounds for Santa Clara, 2.48 to go, down by nine. Rocky will enter it in. It's Van Allen, and now up top, Beal swings it to Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth puts it on the floor, 11 to shoot. Uh, Hollingsworth's got it back now, cutting through the lane, has her shot blocked. Kempton affecting the shot. And uh, Gonzaga with the basketball back again inside of two and a half remaining. Broncos rallied in this game from 14 down to tie it in the third quarter. But Gonzaga here late hitting the big shots and another three from Kaylin Trong. That's her third of this final quarter. And the Gonzaga lead grows to 12. And the Broncos are running out of time now. They Broncos tied it at 39, and we're still within four at the end of the third quarter. In fact, they got it to within two very briefly early in this fourth quarter, as Van Allen step back three is no good. And now a Santa Clara foul on the rebound. But just too much Gonzaga here late. Second chance opportunities, and the three-point shooting of Kaylin Trong, who Scores it at 10 points per game off the bench. She's got 18 tonight to lead all scores on four of five three-point shooting. 67 to 55 is the Gonzaga lead. Here's Ejim over to Kaylee Trong. She'll hoist it from deep. It rolls in. That one just sat on the rim and then dropped in. Everything going in deep here for Gonzaga late in this game. And they've got their largest lead now at 15. Hollingsworth can't get it to go and that one knocked out of bounds. And uh, initially ruled uh, uh, Gonzaga basketball will quickly be reversed. Well, the Zags on a, a run here, 16 to three after the Broncos had cut it to within two. Three-point attempt from Hiraki, no good. And a Gonzaga rebound. And inside of a minute to go now, 
in this one. The Broncos who haven't beaten the Zags since March of 2016. And uh, it won't be happening tonight. There were a few moments in this second half where you wondered maybe this would be the night for Santa Clara as Ejim can't finish. A rebound to Santa Clara. 30 seconds to go here in the game as Van Allen to Hiraki over to Veal and a steal. Ejim's got it. And the layup for two more. 72 to 55. The Gonzaga lead, a game that was certainly much closer than what this final score is going to indicate. But the Zags have just dominated uh, the game here over the last five minutes. And another Santa Clara turnover. The Zags can dribble it out. And that'll do it here at the Levy Center tonight. Final score, Gonzaga 72 and Santa Clara 55. And Gonzaga finishes this game on an 18 to three run over the last five and a half minutes. That was following that Lindsey Van Allen three that made it 54 to 52. And Gonzaga just completely dominated uh, from there. The Bulldogs improved to 10 and one in conference play. 19 and five overall. Santa Clara with their second straight loss drops to five and seven and back to 500 overall at 11 and 11. Tough way to end the long homestand as the Broncos now head out on the road for a couple of games down in Southern California first Saturday night or afternoon rather at LMU. Time now for our Broncos post game show. It's presented by Rabbit Office Automation. Joe Rizzo joined now courtside by Santa Clara head coach Bill Carr following this 72-55 defeat at the hands of the Gonzaga Bulldogs. And coach, uh, just your general thoughts on this one. Uh, your team made some runs and got it to within two with about five minutes left. But uh, we know Gonzaga, uh, with their experience, they're tough. And obviously, they closed it out well against your group here late today. Yeah, yeah, they sure did. Um, you know, they, they got out on us, and, and I thought we weathered the storm and uh, got through halftime, I think down 11, um, and then made a run at them, right? Made a run at them and, and didn't, didn't really do anything crazy to, to get to the run. Um, boy, then we, we missed some assignments defensively, and when you do that against them, they make you pay. We had people helping in the wrong spots. Um, and again, they, they had, I don't know, three threes in a row. It's pretty hard to, to weather that uh, in the second half. They're late. Um, so things we can work on, you know. Uh, that's a good team. And, you know, in order for us to be a good team and be consistently good, we have to make sure we make those plays. And, and we just didn't. And then we're taking the ball out of the net so we can't get going on, on offense and where we had some rhythm there in the second half. What is it about Gonzaga defensively that makes things tough? I think we saw that early. It just seems like they make everything so uncomfortable for you. And there were a lot of turnovers in that first quarter. It seemed to get corrected through that second and third quarter. But I mean, all the metrics say they're one of the best defensive teams in the country. And I think we kind of saw that tonight. Well, they they don't make many mistakes on defense and they're long and they take up space and you have to you got to create some some driving lanes. You got to create some things against them, and then you got to attack them in, in transition, which I thought we did a pretty good job of. Um, and then even in the half court, late or you know third quarter, early fourth quarter, I thought we were um, doing a nice job in the half court at times. Uh, but our defense let us down there late, and you know you can't, you just can't overcome that. How about individually the effort tonight from Lana Hollingsworth missed a little bit of time. She's back now back in the starting lineup. Uh, I think tonight one of her better offensive games and that you know the team needed a spark there in that third quarter which she had seven straight points there in, in three straight possessions which kind of got the group going. Can you talk about her development offensively to where 
she's no longer just this this high energy player off the right. bench that provides a spark. You count on her to score, and she was that tonight for your, your group. She did a really good job of getting her feet set early tonight. I think she made a three in transition early, and then made a couple you know mid range shots and got to the rim. Uh, you know when she does that, when she gets her feet set, she can make she can make shots, and and she did a nice job for us tonight. You know. Uh, they were keying on on M, right? And the key on Lindsay, but it, it doesn't seem to affect her. Um, you know, she still ends up with 17. Um, ball needs to move a little better. Um, you know, just got to continue to get better. We should uh, make a note of the moment you had pregame with Lindsay Van Allen. Uh, honoring Lindsay after reaching a thousand points a few games ago. The effort tonight got her up to 11th all time on the uh, scoring uh, list at Santa Clara, knocking on the door of top 10, which she'll probably get here in a couple of games. Uh, describe that moment you had with Lindsay. I know there'll be other moments later on the uh, final month of this season, but everything that she's meant here to this yeah, program. It's, re it's a really cool moment. Uh, you know, she works at it. She worked at it for four years. Uh, you don't score that many points by accident. You know, she's really created uh, um, her, her game this this year, and, and she did it in the summer. She did it in the springtime. And, you know, her mid-range game is much better, the, the ability to go get fouled, and she's shooting the three a lot more consistently. And she's targeted every game, you know, which makes it even more impressive. Um, but, yeah, a great moment for her. And, and what do we have? We have six conference games and at least one conference tournament game. So she's, yeah, she'll, she's not going to end up 11th on that list. No, she's not. About 23 points per game right now in conference play for Lindsey Van Allen, a, a legitimate player of the year candidate right now for the Santa Clara Broncos. All right, Coach, how about what's next? Uh, uh, we've talked about it here through this stretch. You don't get a lot of time after a win or a loss, and you're right back at it on Saturday. Uh, LMU, uh, if you remember LMU from a few weeks ago, it was kind of like tonight where it's this physical, grinded out kind of game. You're expecting more of the same on Saturday down there. Yeah, yeah, no, LMU's playing well. You know, they were up at Portland and beat them, and they beat St. Mary's down at, at, in Gerston Pavilion, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll have to go down there ready to roll you know they all count the same they all count 18 of them they all count the same so we have to um we have to learn from tonight we have to go to practice tomorrow and and start prepping on lmu and taking care of some of our stuff and to get on the plane and and uh i, I guess what what are we the prelim to the super bowl <laughs> right um about a mile away two miles away from That's lmu right. is the sofi so We'll, um, we'll get the prelim game in on Saturday, and then they can have the Super Bowl on Sunday. You staying in town for the game on Sunday? You, you don't have tickets? You have a ticket for I don't it? have tickets, but, you know, you're a big <laughs> no. guy in this conference. No? Yeah. No? Yeah, no. <laughs> no tickets. No, 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 All no. right. Well, Coach, best of luck uh, Saturday at LMU at Pepperdine as well, and we'll see you here back at home in a little over a week. Okay. All right, thanks. All right, that's Santa Clara head coach uh, Bill Carr following uh, tonight's game, a 72-55 to loss to the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Uh, Gonzaga now has won 12 in a row over Santa Clara uh, going back to the 2016 season. Broncos dropped to 5-7 and seven in conference play, 11-11 11 and 11 overall, and will try and bounce back on uh, Saturday afternoon. That's a 2 o'clock tip time uh, at uh, LMU. Our player of the game tonight brought to you by Lenardi's Markets with eight locations in the Bay Area. Lenardi's is quite simply the best. And our player of the game is Broncos senior guard Lana Hollingsworth. You heard Coach Carr talk about Hollingsworth and uh, her improvement offensively and what she was able to do uh, with the basketball in her hands tonight. 16 points at a couple of threes. Also grabbed uh, four rebounds. A couple of assists as well. Real solid all-around game for Lana Hollingsworth. And uh, when the Broncos needed to, to get something going offensively, uh, she provided that in the second half. And that little flip shot that she had there uh, in the lane, it was a part of seven points in a row for Hollingsworth in that third quarter. And that'll be our smart play of the game, presented by Ticket Smarter, the smart play of the game. Brought to you by Ticket Smarter, the best place to find tickets to the hottest sports, concerts, and live events near you. Visit TicketSmarter.com or download the app to secure your tickets today. Very quickly, running through some of the final stats uh, here tonight. 
the Broncos finish things out shooting 36 uh, percent uh, from the floor. Uh, certainly a, a bit of an off night offensively for Santa Clara, but nothing new when you go up against this Gonzaga team. The Gonzaga Bulldogs, number one in the conference, uh, giving up only 55 points per game, and, and wouldn't you know, right at 55 uh, for Santa Clara tonight. The Zags shoot it at 45% from the floor. Gonzaga, 7 of 20 from three-point range. Five out of seven, though, from distance in that fourth quarter, and the three big ones from Kaylee Trong. Uh, Kalen Trong, rather, uh, ultimately the, the difference in this game, just as Santa Clara was making their run. So Zags didn't do a ton from three-point range tonight until they got to the fourth quarter, and, and those were all real big shots. Both teams shot the ball well from the line, 13 out of 17 for Gonzaga, 9 out of 10 for Santa Clara. This was a matchup of the top two rebounding teams in the conference, and Gonzaga had the edge today, plus 7 over the Broncos. 16 turnovers for Santa Clara. Uh, Seven of those came in the first quarter, so they were better as the game progressed, but uh, ultimately uh, some costly turnovers late uh, really did hurt Santa Clara. Gonzaga, they were up 14 at one point in the second quarter. Broncos would come all the way back to tie it in the third. Uh, they were within two with about five minutes to go in the game, but Gonzaga finishes it off on an 18-3 run, and the Zags ultimately take it by a final score of 72-55. to Back-to-back -back losses now for Santa Clara, who again are next in action on Saturday at LMU. Our next home broadcast here on the WCC Network will be on Saturday, February the 19th, when the Broncos host the Portland Pilots. That's a 2 o'clock tip-off here at the Levy Center. We hope you'll join us then. Tonight's game has been an exclusive presentation of the WCC Network on Stadium. Our final score once again, Gonzaga 72 and Santa Clara 55. For more live West Coast Conference broadcast features and information, go to WatchStadium.com and WCCSports.com. For our entire crew, I'm Joe Ritzo, thanking you for watching. Good night from the Levy Center.